Hey, it's TJ. Welcome back to Star Wars Nice Little Republic. So last episode, we barely survived the Tomb of Nagasato. And now we're going to go outside. Apparently, I don't get my companions. I got my companions. I need them. Uh-oh. I'm in trouble. Hi, Sith. Not angry at me, are you? Oh, no, you're not. Okay. We've had indications that there's a whole ancient Sith colony under this valley. Isn't that an incredible find? The second tomb on the left within the valley is the tomb of Naga Sado. It is off limits to all students. And okay, I thought they're gonna be really angry with me, but apparently not. But apparently, I also can't. Um, Get my companions. Which is weird, but whatever. Cards aren't gonna stop me, right? Cool. Alright. Not on the mini map, nope. <laughs> Didn't realize that was there. From that earlier quest. Alright. Anyway. Can't go in there. Game crashes every single time I try. Okay, that could be a problem. Really can't get my companions, can I? You there. How is it that you're leaving Nagasado's tomb by yourself? You went in for your final test, didn't you? Where is Master Uthal? Um I have a feeling no matter what I choose, it's not gonna matter. I don't know what you're talking about. You lie. Look, just stand aside and you won't get hurt. Got it? I, I'm pretty sure none of these are, um... I'm pretty sure no matter what I choose, it's gonna be yeah, a fight. It's it's a spy! Quick, to arms! But if the spy was able to kill Master Uther... Don't be such a coward! Kill the traitor! Do it now! Guys, you are apprentices. Okay. Okay, well, let's just uh, use this. There we go. Now they're all unconscious. Let's use Force Wave. So Forte doesn't matter, they seem to be all pretty weak. Can I get my companions though? That'd be really nice. Or are they just inside? Look, can I get my companions? No elite either. Alright. Maybe they're inside. There we go. Alright, I'm not sure why it causes that bug. There they are. Okay, and just in time. Alright, Karth, if you're not power blasting, what are you doing? Apparently he's surrounded. Um... Well... Start blasting. HK. Just do what you do best. I'm here to help. Yes. Apparently we're gonna have to do that though. Okay, uh HK really needs to level up. Computer use, repair. Guess that's yeah, let's do security. It's, uh car a little hurt. Um, do I really want to waste a level up though? Level are you? 12? I guess we can afford to. Three injury, sure. 
Feet. You got toughness? You do. Um, you got blaster proficiency. Actually, so there's something about saving throws? Yeah, let's do that. I'm assuming that's not completely useless. Alright. Um, I'll put a couple of grenades. What could possibly go wrong? I know this one guy doesn't have a lightsaber either. Try this. Hey. Karth is soloing him. Guy's T posing. Let me use a med kit on him. Okay, apparently, the uh, regular med kit kits are trash. Implant level two. What's your implant right now? Reflex? Oh, that's giving me the dex. Uh, acting. Him constitution right now. He really needs that. Start power blasting. HK, you got back up. I think you should be fine. We got a long fight in here. HK is gonna be using a lot of level ups. So that's why I wanted to bring him though, because I don't usually use him. Constitution. Yeah, I guess that's fine. He needs health. I want you to have security. I don't think he can beat me in computers, so I might as well go for security. Can get another perk. I almost want to go with toughness, but I think the improved power blast would be helpful here. We're going to go back outside after this and clear out the rest of the academy, I think. What? Can't have any Sith just running around. I've absorbed my health. Also, are they absorbing KHK's health or just mine? Stop it. I actually need a Earth, uh, let's give you a heal too. Ready. 24. Uh. Advance med kid. Um, I also need the advance med kid. HK. Advance repair kit. Ready. Force wave. Knock him out. Or at least their heal doesn't do that much damage to me. Fortunately, they're deflecting HK shots, so it's like he's not really doing anything. Karth? Oh, Karth done. Nice. You survived. Sure. No loot, though. Pretty sure I looted everything here. Oh, remains. Okay, there we go. Wonder if we're gonna get some loot. Alright. Fortunately, my heal uh, doesn't help HK. Let's go back outside since we're right here. Although, wait, can we switch out the companions? Get some story time with the Jedi real quick. In between battles. Got something on your mind, do you? Wanna talk about that war now? As we're in the middle of our own fight? Not particularly. You said you'd tell me later, so spit it out already. Hmm. Such a charming and persuasive manner you have there. Forget it. Okay, but 
Here I am asking nicely. I suppose you're going to nag me until I cough it up, aren't you? Nothing is private anymore, it looks like. Ugh, there's no escaping it, I guess. So be it. My wife's name was Nayama. She was the Yukatis enforcer who shot me out of the sky, if you remember. Uh, no, I don't remember. Ah, you got ears that work, don't you? I was a smuggler, way, way back. I got shot down once over Yukatis. That story, yes. What does your wife have to do with the war? My wife had plenty to do with the war. Upon meeting her, I knew right away that she was strong in the force. That's why she was able to shoot me down. Nayama was a marvel of a woman. Fiery, determined, smart. She dragged me to the capital and foiled three of my attempts to escape prison. Oh, and that body. A war? Well, yes, that. <clears throat> Needless to say, I eventually won her over. That was after I kidnapped her upon being broken out of the Yukata's prison, mind you. But, uh, that's another story entirely. At any rate, I wanted to train her in the Jedi way. The Council refused my request, naturally. I was still a Padawan at the time. I was an experienced Padawan, surely, but not yet ready to be a full Jedi, and certainly not ready to train another, especially not one so old as my wife. You disobeyed the council like I did? I did. I wasn't the first and I won't be the last. The problem with self-righteous folk is they think they're more right than everyone else. I believed in her and trained her in secret. I ignored her willful nature. I loved her too much to see fault in her. And she loved me too. I know she did. At the time, our love was a shared bliss. Better than anything I had known before or since. So what happened? Exar Kun is what happened. Nayama was inspired by Exar's promises of a new golden age. She wanted to join him. She came to me, pleading with me to throw aside what she called the decrepit trappings of the Jedi. To join her in Exar's war. What'd you do? I pleaded with her to reconsider, to think about all that she was throwing away. To think about what she would become. She would have none of it. Finally, in frustration, she attacked me. She drew her lightsaber and attempted to strike me down. It was a scene being repeated everywhere throughout the galaxy. Pupil against master. In my case, it was a long and terrible battle, but I defeated her. Elder? No, no. I had her at my mercy, disarmed and defenseless. She looked up at me and she knew. She knew I couldn't do it. I don't think I could have done it either. But I should have. Sometimes I convince myself otherwise, but it's no use. She had fallen to the dark side when she raised her saber against me, and I let her go. To my shame, she went on to kill many Jedi during the war, until she herself was slain in the final battle. I grieved for her death, inevitable as it was, even as the Jedi Council put me on trial for my actions once the war was over. Put you on trial? I had trained Nayama against their wishes. I had failed to kill her when I had the chance, and she went on to kill others. Not to mention that I had remained a Padawan throughout the war. A formality, perhaps, but with a trial, it had to be decided if I was worthy to become a Jedi at all. It was a travesty, of course. I told you that even the Jedi were capable of great injustices, didn't I? I agree with you. They destroyed my mind, after all. But I deserve to be tried. They found me innocent, even though I deserved every punishment and more. They let me go. Mitigating circumstances, they said. I deserved compassion, they said. They said I had learned wisdom the hard way. For all I had done during the war, they wished to raise me to full Jedi status at long last. That, that was when the Jedi left me. That was when they failed me. I don't understand. No, maybe you don't at that. They may have been able to forgive me. I could never forgive myself. You still believe love is worth the risk? I, yes, I do, I suppose. Does that surprise you? Uh, it is all so long ago, lost in the winds, I suppose. 
Nobody cares what an old man believes anymore, do they? Let's continue on with the task at hand. I would prefer to think of the present today. I don't think that's the end of his storyline, but I could be wrong. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? I wonder if we could talk. What is it you would like to speak to me about? Tell me more about your past. Well, I mentioned before that my parents had fled to Taros. Perhaps I can tell you about that. There were no Cathar on Terrace that I saw. No, there were not. Having fled the birth world of my species, my parents flew as far and wide as they could. And so I was raised alone, knowing of my birthplace only the few stories my parents could tell, and seeing no other member of my species at all. Uh, why'd they flee? It all comes back to wars and fighting. The curse of your race, it seems. In the early days of the Mandalorian War, there had been fighting closer to the Outer Rim worlds. Um, your people were in that region? Cathar was there, yes. My people had a great reputation as warriors, and that appealed to the Mandalore version of honor. They sought to test themselves against us, I think. Test themselves by bombing our world, slaughtering my people while they slept or while they ran. How'd that happen? They swooped down from space, across the world, firing at anything that moved. They used ships in space to destroy all orbital facilities and bombard the surface. We did resist. And in spite of their violent attack, we did stave them off for quite a while. But in the end, we were doomed. Why did the Jedi not help you? Or why did the Republic not help you? We were not members of the Republic. Uh. Cathar was beyond the edge of the Republic and the Outer Rim. And besides, they could not have known. Our interstellar communications were the first things the Mandalores hit. All other short-range communicators were jammed. We were on our own. We knew what was coming. We had fought the Mandalorians in the first war against Exar Kun and the Sith. We knew there would be no mercy for us. The most we could do was pack the few of our people who survived onto what few ships remained and send them off into space as fast as they could. Most did not make it. About your family? My parents carried me as a baby with them and were lucky enough to escape. They fled as far as they were able and eventually settled on Taris. They could stand running no further, I think. But Taris was a horrible choice. Dominated by humans, intolerant of other species, made everyday life unnecessarily hard. Had your family cope? My father. My father mm. turned to stimulants. He spent much of his time in local bars and dives. But we are warriors. It runs through our blood. And when he was on stims, he, he, he became foolish. He let his warrior nature get the best of him. So he would get intoxicated and he would fight. And finally, one day, he would die. Died? Killed by a man who provoked him into a fight and killed him like an animal. I, I am sorry, I, I cannot talk about this any longer right now. All right, so they both have tragic backstories. You know, you should be kind of angry at uh, Kendris, you think. Anyway, let's get Karth and HK, two people that get along great. Hi, Sith. Oh. I guess this guy's hostile. Oh, Here's a name, though. <laughs> Arth, could you power blast? It would help. Right, those guys don't have any weapons. Or, um, lightsabers, so that's good. This is not too much experience to get from these guys. Okay. 
Is that it? Oh, there's at least one more. Yeah, there's an archaeologist over here somewhere. Or not. I guess they're all waiting for us in the uh, academy. Huh. All right. They don't loot either. Oh, well. Get a little bit of XP. Might make the difference in the end. Because I'm at level 17, I think. 18, okay. So I get two more levels, I think. All maxed out. There's a lot more in that valley for some reason. Alright, and who's not with us? Now let's see if there's anyone left in the academy. Oh, okay, you got some remains here, that's good. Oh, hi. I started blasting. Oh, okay. That's a lot of them. Which case, I'm so happy about that. A couple grenades. There you go. Now we're getting loot. Oh, okay. Those. What? See if there's anything over here. I think most of the students are gone, though. Oh, hi, Sith Lieutenant. Hey, watch this. So all the prisoners are gone, so unfortunately you can't, like, rescue them. It's a shame. I suspect the same thing for the Mandalorian. Credits. Yep, Mandalorian's gone too. Alright, let's go this way. How much XP do I need to level up? 4,000. I'm sure we'll probably get that eventually. We also need to uh, make sure we top off uh, the med pit, uh, med kids. Oh, hi. What is it? Life support packages. As much of those as we can, because we're going to need that for the final battle. It's just you by yourself. Love your enthusiasm, buddy. A loot. Might be the last guard. <laughs> Here, nope. All right. Okay, got a captain over here. Unfortunately, I don't think these guys are going to give much XP. Just force wave them all. Nice. There's a lot of time. Alright. 
It might be the last of them. And I don't think we fight any of the guys outside. Check over here real quick, but I think that's it. All right. So up next, uh, I guess I'll go outside and make sure there's nothing, but I'm pretty sure there isn't anything else. Oh, okay, I was wrong. You know, why can't we just do this earlier? It would save us so much trouble. Other than the fact that apparently Uthar is the only one who knew how to enter the, um... What do you call it? Enter the tomb. I think it's safe, though. <laughs> Roids aren't hostile. Pretty sure this is the end. You are so lucky. You got accepted into the academy, didn't you? I'm beginning to think I'm never going to make it. Oh, don't worry. You can join now if you want. If you must know, I intend to take the... Okay, so uh, I thought that guy was the guy we fought with the name earlier. I guess not. It was a gif different guy. All right. Well, in the next episode, I will probably be going to. I'll definitely go to Yavin Four, then Tatooine, and I kind of want to stop at Manan. And see if anything triggers. I don't think it will. Related Johanni story wise. We'll see. We'll try to talk to them in the next episode too. We can get any more dialogue. But I think there's something that happened at Yavin. And we still have Candorus's mission. And apparently we got to deliver a box to on Tatooine. I don't think we're ever going to get that information. And yeah, we're definitely not doing that. Um, Yagi, okay. Yep. I don't know if we can talk to Candorus right now because he might be too focused on Jaggi. We'll see. Alright. Anyway, if you like this episode, stay tuned for next one. I'm TJ, and I'll see you next time.